Hi again, here we are to continue with Xcode and our um, login and register um, example. Um, so in the last video, we, you know, we created the, um, the login manager class and then we set up our storyboard and stuff, right? So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to kind of flesh out the login manager a little bit. So, so far we've just got this property called shared instance. We're going to add another property to this class. Okay, we're going to make it a var, and we're going to call it is logged in. And we'll give it a default value of false. So this, this variable here will just keep track of whether we're logged in or not. Okay, so we can always ask login manager, hey, is logged in? And if it is, this will be true, and if not, It'll be false. And every time we start up our app, um, it'll always be false. So that way, we, when we can test it, it'll always start you off as you're not logged in, right? Um, you know, obviously, like, if you really want to make a real app, this is going to have to be a lot more, you know, there's going to be a lot more code dealing with a lot of other stuff. This, this example is just going to show us how to present the, the login and register screens and how to manage those, right? That's the goal here, right? So anyway, so we've got this, and then we're going to add a method in here. So we'll say function, and what this method is going to do is it's going to log us in, and we'll talk to the login manager, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to say log in with username, okay? So this function, you, you pass the username and the password in here, and it's going to return true if the username and password are are valid and false if not, okay? So we're going to say login with username, and you're going to pass in a username, which will be a string, and a password, which will be a string. And then the function will return a bool, okay? So we'll pass in a username, type string, password, type string, and return a boolean. So now we got an error because this function doesn't return anything. So let's let's set it up. So what we'll do is we'll say if username, how about does not equal the empty string, right? So it's pretty easy to log in with your password here. You just have to put in anything, right? Um, and then we'll do password does not equal the empty string. So if you know any name and any password are valid for us as long as they're not empty. And if they are valid, we'll say logged in equals true. And then we'll return a true. And um, then I'm going to type in else here. And if you're not logged in, I'm going to say is logged in equals false and return a false, right? And that'll make it easy for us to test because you, if you just if you leave the username and password fields empty, you can click log in, and then it'll um, it'll kind of log you out. And we'll, we'll talk about maybe logging out and presenting the 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 view again, um, maybe at the end. But for right now, that's how it's going to work. So so anyway, so here's our here's our app, and now what we want to do is we want to test this out, and we want to see if we can show the login screen. So currently. Whenever I test it, what's going to happen is we're just going to see our app, right? So we get the home screen and the table view screen, but I'm not seeing the login screen, right? And so we're not logged in right now. This should be false. So we need our app on the home screen to check the login status. And if it finds a false here, we need it to present the login screen down here. Okay, and what's going to happen is we're going to present this modally, and it'll appear in front of the home screen, like that. Okay. So, how are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use instantiate view controller with identifier, and what that means is we need the identifier for this for this um, storyboard view controller here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the view controller go to the identity inspector and if you recall in the last video we gave this a storyboard ID right it happened to be the same name as the class name here so I'm just gonna copy that name and then I'll go to view controller and this this view controller swift file is the um, the class file that belongs to this view 
the home view. So you can see like when I click on the the view controller when it's you know it's got the blue outline you can see it says classes view controller. So so what are we going to do here? So what I want to do here is I want to go into view did load and I want to ask if we're logged in or not. So I'm going to say hey if and then I'll talk to login manager and really what I want is I want the shared instance of login manager. So this is the one instance of the login manager class that everybody shares. And I want to say, is logged in, right? And if that equals false, we know that you're not logged in. Okay, so we'll say logged in, or login manager, shared instance, is logged in, double equal. You know, if it's false, then right here we want to show the login view, okay? So what we'll do is we'll say let login. And what we need to do here is we need to make an instance of the login view controller. So we need to make an instance of it here from storyboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to say storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier. So you can just type storyboard dot and then start typing INST and that should take you to instantiate view controller with identifier. So the identifier is an identifier string and we can just paste the identifier string that we got from storyboard or the one that we assigned, okay? And next, now we're going to display this view controller in a modal, right? Okay, we're going to display it modally. So what we'll do is we'll say present view controller and we want the second one here. There's actually a bunch of these. Presentation view controller, presented view controller, presenting view controller. We're going to talk about this presenting view controller later, but right now um, we want this one. Present view controller, and then it should be view controller animated and completion. Okay? So the first thing is the view controller to present. Right? So that is, for us, that's login. Oops, not login manager, but uh, it's this variable here, login, right? So we'll put that here. And then animated means when we display this view, do we want to animate the display, right? Does it slide in or does it just appear there? So let's say true, we'd like to animate that. And then for completion here, this is a block that we can execute after the presentation is complete. So after the animated presentation is done animating, you know, do you want to do something? We don't need to do anything here, but we'll use this later, okay? And we'll talk about that. So I'm going to put a nil there, and then it's giving me an error because this um, this instantiate view controller with identifier is going to return an optional, right? And that makes a lot of sense because login view controller, like, it may not exist in Storyboard. Like, there's no way for um, Xcode to check that in our code, right? So you know, instantiate view controller with identifier might return an optional, plus storyboard might not exist, like your project might not have a storyboard. So um, if it doesn't have a storyboard, then storyboard might not exist, so this is an optional also. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to put the, uh, we know that both those things exist, so we'll just put the exclamation point here. Okay, so there we go. So now if everything works correctly, when we test here, our view should load. It should check with Login Manager and find that we're not logged in. And then it will make an instance of the login view from Storyboard and then present it modally to the screen with an animation. Okay, so let's save all that and then we'll click uh, Test here and run our app. There, so it's going to build and there it is. And then there's our view. So now, and you saw that the um, the original view, the home screen, is underneath here. And then this one slides up to cover it, right? And then there's our login view, okay? So, um, so that's working pretty good. So now what we need to do is we need to be able to um, get the value that you type into these two fields. And when you log in, we need to call that method inside the login manager class, okay? So we'll do that in the next video, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope this is helpful to someone.